Yeah, Taryn, the police investigation is still ongoing, but it's wrapping up. You see behind me a car being lifted on a tow truck. The back windshield of that car shot out. The two victims were standing right in front of that car. They were seemingly leaving school, trying to get a ride home when they were victims of a drive-by shooting. It was the scene around 3.40 Monday afternoon, right outside Henry Ford High School at Evergreen in Fargo. We heard gunshots, we dropped low, went to the window, heard the tires um, and a white van taking off, some students running around. Um, I let one young man in so he could call his parents. He was shaking up really bad because it happened right in front of him. Um, the, I looked down and seen the gray uh, car, which I believe it was the grandmother's car. They pulled him out of it and laid him on the ground and he was shot up pretty bad. Police were there within seconds as a DPD officer is posted at the school. As they were doing dismissals, one of the lieutenants heard gunshots. The victims, both teenagers, both shot twice. A 16 year old shot as he attempted to get a ride home from school from his grandmother. This happened in front of Tiffany Butler's house. She watched as first responders tended to the victim, his grandmother in shock. She got out um, pretty calm at first, but then after she started calling family members, she got shaken up. Yeah, Mother came on the scene, fainted. Aunt came on the scene, and they ran to Grace Hospital. The second victim also found shot twice, just a few yards away. Both teens rushed to the hospital. Thankfully, both. Uh, are in temporary serious condition, so the, the, the injuries are not fatal. Police are describing what happened as a targeted shooting and are making progress in the investigation. No one else is at risk. Uh, no one at the school is at risk, uh, and we know who we're looking for. This appears to be an isolated incident. The chief says detectives are continuing to go over evidence, including doorbell camera footage, and are hoping justice will come soon. We are looking for three African-American males. Uh, one is described as light-complected, uh, at least two of them are wearing masks, possibly all three are wearing masks. They circled this area a couple of times before uh, they did the shooting, so we're working uh, to get some, some video assets from some areas around here. And during the course of the investigation, the chief says it's possible that they know the names of the suspects. They still are unable to find them at this point. I just checked in with police. Still no arrests, no update on those patient conditions, the victim's conditions at this point either. Reporting live in Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. And Dave, we appreciate your report. We heard that uh, Police Chief James White say this is an isolated incident. So could this be connected in any way to that shooting uh, from Friday night at the Christmas tree lighting? Yeah, he was asked during that briefing if this was a, a possible retaliation shooting. He said he is aware of some of these rumors. He said that he doesn't have anything to substantiate them at this time, but they're definitely looking into all possibilities here, that one included.